Okay, here we're back at J Boss World again with Manic from Infinispan. And I'm not going to screw up Manic's name, so I'm going to let him pronounce it. <laughs> and it is? Manic Sertani. Okay, and can you tell us a little bit about your project? Sure. So Infinispan is an open source data grid platform. As the data grid platform, it becomes a viable cloud-based data store, a viable alternative to databases on the cloud, which inherently don't quite work well together in clouds and databases. As an open source data grid platform, but open source aside, data grids are also very important to help you remove all the next in your applications, um, even in traditional environments and traditional data centers. It helps remove single points of failure, it helps remove extra databases. So where do, where do you fit within the JBoss world? Where do I fit? Okay, so I'm an engineer for Red Hat. Um, I've been working with Red Hat um, for the last five years and pre, pre uh, JBoss being acquired by Red Hat. I was originally an engineer on the JGroups project. I then became the lead of the JBoss Cache project and now I'm the founder and leader of InfinSpan as well. Okay, and um, you know, where can people find uh, those that are interested, find out more about your project and your co company. So the first source is the Infinispan website, www.infinispan.org. There are links to wikis, there are links to GUI demos, interactive tutorials, and lots and lots of information. Everything from detailed designs through to simple FAQs. The other source is my blog, um, blog.infinispan.org. I frequently blog there, not just myself, but the entire Infinispan team. Whenever we develop something new, a new feature, a new idea, a new algorithm, whatever, there's a lot of stuff up there. And if you really want to uh, be kept up to date with exactly what's going on, that's what you want to follow. The other place, of course, is Twitter. So uh, we're also on Twitter, twitter.com slash infinispan. Follow that Twitter handle, you're going to get all the new stuff. And um, how have people been embracing uh, the product? Sorry. How have people been embracing the product? It's, it's been very exciting, actually. There's been a lot of energy around it, um, both online, prior to JBoss World, and at JBoss World itself. People have actually been talking about it without my, without my knowledge. I mean, I'm actually surprised at the amount of energy that was around it. It's been very interesting. I think the main reason behind that is because this is a relatively small space. There are not too many players in the data grid market. And those that do exist, are non, are non open source, they're proprietary and typically very, very expensive. It also doesn't help that you typically deploy a data grid on many different nodes, typically hundreds or thousands. And the moment you're paying for CPU licenses, you know, you're paying for uh, software licenses on a per CPU basis, it becomes very expensive very quickly. You just multiply up numbers. So this is where open source really can help. Well, I want to thank you for your time. We were given five minutes um, and I need to get him back to the bus so that he can go talk to some clients so thank you very much and, I, and I'm sure that you'll be um, we'll be hearing more about you in Absolutely. the future okay thanks Bye -bye.